Hi, my name is Amandeep Singh and I am a CPA practicing in Metro Vancouver region of British Columbia, Canada. You see, I get many questions about the business reduction for electric vehicles from small business owners who are very keen on taking advantage of the significant incentives by the government. So in this video, I will talk about the main incentives for electric vehicles. The first one is called the Incentives for Zero Emission Vehicles or ISEV in short form. In a nutshell, you are eligible to receive a rebate at the dealer when you buy or lease a new eligible vehicle. The rebate amount is either $2,500 for short range plug-in hybrids or $5,000 for battery electric hydrogen fuel cell and longer range plug-in hybrids. The ISO program has limited funding and is available on a first come first serve basis ending when the budget runs out or in 2022 whichever comes first. This program is incredibly popular and as per a CBC report at the current rate the incentive funds will be entirely gone before the end of 2020. The second incentive is the enhanced first year CCA or tax depreciation rate of 100% for zero emission vehicles. The Income Tax Act allows an enhanced deduction for capital cost allowance, which is tax depreciation if a zero emission vehicle is purchased for work purposes. You must buy a battery electric plug-in hybrid or hydrogen fuel cell car to be eligible. This must be a zero emission vehicle acquired after March 18, 2019 and be available before 2024. If you use this option, you will not be eligible to receive a rebate at the dealer. Let's look at an example, which shows a comparison of the two scenarios, assuming a 55,000 electric car using the combined CCPC tax rate in British Columbia of 11% in 2020 and assuming five years of ownership. For simplification, I have ignored the sales tax. I have also taken only federal ISAV in this example as the provincial rebate is not available in all the provinces of Canada. In option one, you take advantage of the ISAV fully knowing that you will not be able to claim 100% capital cost allowance or the depreciation in the first year. In option two, you write off the vehicle's full cost to a maximum of $55,000 in the year of purchase. You see, on the surface, option two sounds like a great deal. However, in this example, you can see that the company is better off to take advantage of the ISAV rebate and depreciate the remaining purchase price at the standard CCA rates in class 10 and class 10.1, which is stands for passenger vehicle. You see the accelerated CCA rate is exciting at first, but may not be as beneficial as the ISAV in the long run. If you want to lease, instead of buying the electric vehicle, please note that the leased vehicles are never capitalized and consequently are never depreciated for tax purposes. So if you are choosing the leasing option, the ISAV rebate is the only sensible option. Under the ISAV program, the 2500 or 5000 rebate reduces the lease payments. You may be thinking that's all well and good, Aman, but I don't own a business. So this won't help me, not so fast. If you are an employee and use your car for work, you may also be entitled to this enhanced deduction. Consider Mark. He is an employee who purchases a new zero emission vehicle in 2020 for $55,000. He is ordinarily required to work away from his employer's business place and is entitled to deduct vehicle costs. He keeps a log of his kilometers driven for work and uses his car 30% of the time for business use. So he will be able to claim 30% of his vehicle costs. When it comes to CC on his car, he can deduct his car's cost in 2020, which is the first year. In this case, the 55,000 must be prorated because only 30% of his driving is for work. So the deduction he can claim is 16,500, which is 30% of $55,000. This is a pretty sizable deduction against his employment income. And if he's in the top marginal tax bracket in British Columbia, for example, 
that 16,500 deduction will save him $8,217 in taxes and these are big dollars. Further, be aware if you sell the car later after deducting the full cost as CCA, you'll have to include in your income the price which you receive upon selling. For example, if Mark were to sell his car for let's say 20,000 later, he will have to include 30% of that amount which is for the business use in his income which is $6,000. If you are thinking about taking advantage of one of the new zero emission incentives in your company, it is essential to look at all the options to determine which path is right for you and your company. So get in touch with your CPA who can guide you on this matter. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye.